Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And I welcome you to Saturday Morning Makes. This is my episode 9 for 2024. Hey y'all, and happy Saturday Morning Makes. This is being filmed on a Sunday morning again. <laughs> um, that happens more often than not, I do apologize. But here we are. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, if you are unaware, Saturday Morning Makes is an open art collaborative that was... Um, initiated, if you will, by the amazing Jill Norwood of Greenwood Girl Cards. And you are invited to join us. All you have to do is share whatever, whatever you create. It can be cooking or baking or painting or whatever. It does not have to be paper crafts. That just happens to be my craft. Um, but yeah, use the hashtag SatMornMakes, short for Saturday Morning Makes. Use that hashtag and post on whatever social media platform you are comfortable with. And that way, when the rest of us search the hashtag, we'll be able to find what you've been what you've been creating and you want to share with us. So I invite you to not only participate, but also hop along and see all the creative goodness out there. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into what I've made. Um, let me start with my little eggs. Oh, I don't have everything in front of me. So these little sweeties are for an upcoming um, project video that I'm working on for this calls for confetti. They're different little ornaments made with um, one of their dies as well as some of the paper pads. Um, just some different ideas in terms of um, the little toppers. I need to clean that up on the back. But I've used a little bit of wire. This is the wire and then I've also used some twine this twine and this twine as well and then this little ruffly lace is um, do I have what's left so this is a, a bundle of trims that I got from Michaels at the end of last fall and um, it's a huge mess but this is the trim that was in this pack and I've just put it around the egg you can see it has that sweet little ruffle to it so there's that let me move that over <laughs> um, I'm not gonna go into the details about these because I have a video coming up but I have worked a lot on these this weekend so I wanted to share also in conjunction with that there are <clears throat> excuse me there's a um, a cover plate die that cuts out a bunch of tinier tinier little eggs and there's a stencil that you can um, add details to them. And so mine are all monochromatic with a little bit of stickles on there. You can see that glitter in all those fun, beautiful patterns from the stencil. So there's that. And then there's this um, kind of a middle size. It's a little bit bigger than, oh, it is the same size. My bad. But there is a, a one that's not quite this small, I think. Maybe this is the one. But this is the larger of all of the little egg dies. And I just did a little bit of ink blending and some stenciling over the top of that. And I um, used the Sprinkles Scallop Rectangle Die from Whimsy. And then I used some lace from my stash. This, this is the lace that I got on Amazon. And I used this cute little one. I don't know how well you can see it. But this one. Ignore my fingernails. I apologize. I've got too much stuff going on on my hands. <laughs> this little one, I hot glued around the edges of the egg. So it gives that cute little detail. And then I had some trims and some um, other ribbons and stuff that I adhered to it. They're just from my stash. I have a bunch of stuff in my stash. This is just one. Actually, it's a small bag. But I used... This little twine and this little ribbon. I think those are both old Stampin' Up! if I'm not mistaken. Um, so there is that. And of course I used my um, my little pin, my bulb pin, and um, the, what is that? <coughs> Ladybug <laughs> from my stash. So I have, I have a variety of colors of the bulb pins. I've got an antique... Um, bronze and then there's a, the silver the gold the black I think that might be it and then a bunch of different charms half of this is from Amazon half of it is from Timo so there is that and I already showed that twine so we'll put this over here we'll move this out of the way 
And then I made a couple of little tags. Remember, I have all those tags. I'm going to reach across you. I still have, and this isn't even the whole stack, but I still have all of these that I that I die cut from my gel plate play day several weeks ago now. I'm still working on them. And so these two I thought were really fun. I just put um, some interesting stuff on the back just to clean it up and to give it a little more um, stability. But I did some stitching on both of them. And then let's talk about just this one. And then I used this cute little guy from the Impression Impression Obsession Stamps. This is called Monster Mash. The artist is Nola Chandler. And then I put Eat, Eat Drink, and Be Scary. And I was going to do a little read, like like cross that out and put the word read because it's, it's a bookmark or it's intended to be a bookmark. But I just never got that done. So it is what it is. And then I stamped the cute little um, spider web up there. I did it in this position as you can see, so it would fit in that corner because I've got the stitching over here, so I didn't want to do it there. But then I, I did not ink up the spider, and then I went back and I inked up the spider, and I have him coming from inside the web. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then, of course, I colored him up with some, with my Olo markers, and I think he's super cute. This was a scrap from my stash. I used the same on this side. Um, I don't remember what it was. To be honest, I have no idea what I die cut out of that form, but I just thought that that little um, swoopy edge was kind of fun. Again, this is from my stash. I think this is an old Fun Stamper's Journey um, pattern paper, if I'm not mistaken. And um, you can see that I did his eyes kind of bloodshot and blurry because he's been reading for a long time. Or maybe he's been drinking for a long time. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, same, same fun stamp set from NOLA at Impression Obsession and then Hey There Sunshine. I don't have that stamp in front of me, but it's actually long and I just did the Hey There comma and then I cleaned that part and then I did the sunshine. I just inked them up separately and I moved it. This little oval was in my stash. I have no idea what it's from, but this little black lace, if you can believe it, is from an old bra. <laughs> I took a part. But I just love that little eyelash trim. I thought that was super cute. And so I'll be using that in other things. But this was a gel plate print. And this, of course, was just some cardstock that I stamped on the back. Now this um, alphabet stamp is from My Favorite Things. I can't remember the name of it. But it's like a typewriter font. It's a full um, background stamp. And then I have, let me scoot these over a little bit more. Oh, back to the card real quick. I apologize. I did not tell you about the confetti. They are the sparkle all the way from this calls for confetti. This is probably my most favorite, my most used. Um, maybe not most favorite, but definitely most used because sometimes I feel like it needs a little bit more something, but it doesn't necessarily need color. I have a bunch of color. I don't even know how many trays of confetti I have, and I just got another huge order. They're having a sale, so I will link to this calls for confetti because you don't want to miss this sale, and she's adding to it. So, yeah, hop over and check that out. I mean, some things are 90% off. Some things in my order I got for literal cents on the dollar. So, yeah, this calls for confetti. Hop over there and see. Okay, back to these two. So again, gel plate prints, and I used, so I don't have it in a, in a container right now, but it's this die set from Impression Obsession from the amazing Anna White. So this is that part, and then this is that part. So I thought they were really fun. I love that. That might be one of my favorite, favoritest dies, tag dies, I don't know. But then I have this. This is relatively old. I don't know what year this is from. It's been a couple years. I don't see anything that might indicate the, the year. But um, three, four, five years. I'm not sure. But it's called Bad Influence. Um, it's super, super cute. I love this little piggy. And this was the first one that I did. And you can see that these are from the same print, right? I mean, those are very, very similar. So I'm not sure exactly which was cut from where, but anyway, they're from the same gel plate print. 
and I just colored him up. I pulled some of this more of the the peachy creamy yellows in the background. It's not quite the same, but I thought he was okay. And I made him very mottled and dirty. I thought that was funny. And then I did the hogs and kisses right here and then sending you. Unfortunately, I I smeared it. I had used um, uh, Versafine Clear and it was still wet. And so I actually smudged this and I smudged that. This I was able to clean up a bit with some um, white gel ink. But the sending you is still smudged. But it is what it is. And then on the back of both of them. I used this fun new paper pad from Impression Obsession, again, from the amazing, incredible, creative brain of um, Anna White. So they are double-sided. It's all chicken wire, but they're so cute. I love these colors in here. They're very muted, um, kind of dirty tones, if you will, but that's my vibe, totally my vibe. And they're kind of grungy. There's speckles. There's like splatters. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. So you will be seeing these. Um, probably anything that has to do with country or the farm or critters or whatever. Um, you know, I, and it doesn't have to be that. Obviously, you don't have to pigeonhole yourself. But anyway, this one, I use that same um, quatrefoil stencil. And I just added some stickles to the back. I just wanted there to be something a little bit extra on that background. And um, I did not, oh, maybe there's a little bit of smearing on the and. But anyway, just used my Olo markers, colored them up both a little bit differently. This one actually got this kind of, I don't even know what to call that, but that's, I don't know what to call it. But my marker dripped. So my mid-tone marker dripped and spread, and I was so afraid, but it, it actually worked out okay, because then with the darker tone, I just went in and dabbed, and then I used a lighter tone to blend it all together, and I think he turned out okay. This one is okay as well. It's just different. Um, you can't really tell, but some of the colors are the same. But anyway, I just thought, I thought they were both really cute, and then this lace is from my stash from that same um, piece that I showed you already. So that is what I have to share with you this morning. I appreciate you spending some time with me. I need to hop around and see what everybody else has created. Again, I'll encourage you to get on over to um, this calls for confetti and see everything that, that Lisa has on sale because I tell you, it's a lot. And we have a lot of fun things coming up. Like I said, I have this Easter egg project going on. Um, lots of different ways to show that. Yesterday I just shared a video of my completed tag journal. It's a it's a flip through, but it's all with um, this calls for confetti pattern papers that I've used in a variety of different ways in a mixed media format. So there's so much going on and that's just what I'm doing. There's so much with the rest of the design team and Lisa herself. We've got bloggers, we've got Instagrammers, we've got Facebookers, we've got YouTubers. Y'all really want to want to hop along and see what's going on and all the amazingness that is this Calls for Confetti. But thank you guys so much once again. Mwah! I love you. I appreciate you for spending some time with me. I appreciate you anyway, <laughs> whether you're able to spend time with me or not on any given day. So thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time.